Good evening. It's about 6.35. I'm Ted Langdell, and we are here on Loma Rica Road, just north of Highway 20, looking east into the Yuba County foothills, and actually looking into the Nevada County foothills as well. This is a special program coming to you live, reporting on the Rices Fire. The Rices Fire is currently burning around 400 acres in the Yuba River Canyon near Rices Crossing Road. We're going to take a little closer look here at the actually a wide shot. We are again looking east from the Loma Rica Road and Highway 20 area at the smoke that's coming up from this fire. It's been burning since early afternoon. It started as a structure fire that escaped into vegetation and is blowing in the direction of north-northeast up the canyon. There are currently two evacuation advisories in Yuba County. Those are the ones that are in blue, north of the Nevada County evacuations in red. The little dot that you see in the center there is where the fire began. This is the other Yuba County evacuation zone. And this is where the fire is and the direction it's burning up canyon and uh, away from the Yuba River. There have been a number of power lines de-energized as a safety precaution. That includes the Yuba County or Yuba Water Agency's Colgate Powerhouse power lines that lead down Canyon from the uh, 360, I believe it is, 360 megawatt uh, generating station that's there using water coming from New Bullard's Bar Reservoir. There are other de-energized lines that have affected power into places like Allegheny, North San Juan, Pike City, we would anticipate that Camptonville is also affected because we're understanding that uh, the communities of Downeyville and Sierra City, further up the North, Can the North Yuba River, um, are also affected. So um, it is something to keep an eye on here, and I'm sure Sacramento television stations will be doing it. If you look below the video in the text that you're watching here, you'll see links to yubanet.com and a link to the Rice's Fire. Yubanet.com has been doing a very good job, as they usually do, of tracking fires in our area. Uh, and uh, you can get accurate and relatively uh, often updated information. They're listening to scanners, they're monitoring a number of other things. We must return to our offices so that we can restream the 7 o'clock Yuba City Unified School District meeting, which uh, will take place in uh, less than half an hour. I'm Ted Langdell at the corner of, or not at the corner, but just north of the corner of Loma Rica Road and Highway 20 in the Hallwood area. And you have been watching a live special report from yubasutter.live. We'll see you at 7 o'clock for the Yuba City Unified School District meeting.